Hi. That's it. The plan hole and ground. Let's go. That's not an intro. This is. No, it's not. I made it up. It's. It doesn't matter. It's terrible. It doesn't matter if it's terrible. It's an intro. It's really not. <laughs> Who do we have to thank for this playthrough, Bubby? I don't know. Why don't you tell them? Well, you should know too. Well, maybe if you weren't such a bad manager, I would know. I'm not your manager. You're my manager. You're Pretzel's manager. Pretzel doesn't need a manager. She's independent. <laughs> A big shout out to our patrons and Alice for making this playthrough possible. Thank you so much, you super nomkins. Links to Alice's stuff on screen right now. Make sure you give her a follow and let's subscribe. And uh, let's begin our adventure in Haunting Ground. This is gonna suck, baby. I don't like this intro music. It should. What, what should it be? Nicki Minaj? I mean, yeah, it'd be better than that. <laughs> Starships by Nicki Minaj, that's what I want. As it pans down on her hair. Well, I mean, here it's fine. But that, like, 10 second freaking loop before is not fine. So, you know what I realized? Wait. Is that, like, one of the people from the car crash? I think it might be. It's definitely a, a, a person. Very delicious, though. Or is it Papia? I can't tell. I, yeah, it's hard. Maybe it's a person and a Papia in a stew. I like this guy better in the Goonies, to be honest with you. <laughs> He's very pervy. I mean, this whole game is pervy. I mean, this game is kind of perv central. Yeah, this game is like a desperate quest for a vagina that they all desperately want. Literally. Well, he just wants a doll. Yeah, he's too dumb to want a vagina, but he's still pervy. He is still pervy. He's the sort of guy who'd get a doll and look up his skirt. Oh yeah, ew. <laughs> Anyway, guys, this is Haunting Ground. It is technically the fourth clock tower game. <laughs> this is our main character. What's her name? Oh shit, I don't remember. I don't remember her fucking name. <laughs> God damn it. She leaves such a non impression. She's supposed I remember to, all the bad guys' she's names. She's supposed to be this freaking smart college graduate, and yet she's so dumb. <laughs> I completely forgot on her. Fiona. That's her name. Oh, okay. I only know that because I looked at an FAQ that I'm using to this guide, guys. I'm sorry, but this game is really hard, so I'm using a general guidance to have a fucking idea where I'm going. So, I'm not going to be like, oh, I wonder where I go. Whoa. Oh, maybe it's this way. I'm going to be like, look, this is what it says. It's already unlocked and you're having such trouble opening it. You know, for the time, though, that, like... Silky, freaking, floaty fabric is surprisingly silky and floaty. Yes, it is. Uh, we, uh, we are at least safe for a while, by the way. Like we, we, have, we have quite a bit of time before anything actually goes down. I mean, I guess things have already gone down, kind of, but you know what I mean. How's <laughs> a numpkin? The dog in this is really fucking disobedient, actually. <laughs> Huey. Is this meant for me? <laughs> oh my god, it's so dark. Now we get to... Jelly our shop. Yeah. It looks like a jelly. <laughs> See, this is this is my problem. Well, it's not super bad there, but like especially with that little loading thing, it, it was more of a problem than the last one we did, where okay. FMV, and then the difference between the actual game is so stark. It's like, why did you put all that effort in the FMV? And then the game, yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, and you're right, Dino Crisis was a much starker difference. But still. I was actually talking about Clock Tower. Oh, yeah. Clock Tower had I the mean, weird motion I cap mean, as well. I uh, mean, the Dino Crisis was even worse, but 
like... The FMV still looks a bit shite shy in Dino Crisis 2, though. Yeah. This one isn't a, that bad. So far. It's I a mean... bedroom, Bubba. It's Nom. There's a picture of a Nom man. It's a creeper. No, there's no creepers in this game. It's not like all the antagonists are creepers. We're about to meet the second antagonist right now. Her name is Nomkin. See? She's not weird. <gasps> Creepy. I've gathered some clothes for you. I love how she doesn't ask anything. She doesn't say a fucking word, by the way. Uh, oh, maybe she does. Wait, don't go. I, I think you wanted to go. Um, excuse me, but where are we? And why am I and naked? How did I get here? And why am I naked? <laughs> and why am I naked? Yes, and why yes, am I naked? We will keep her here for a while. I will make sure she stays comfortable. Took her a bunch, depending, guys. Oh, great. It's the guy from Clock Tower 3 again! God damn it! Same outfit! It is the same outfit. He looks less like he ate all the pies though, that one. <laughs> it is the same outfit though, you're right. General freaking creepy antagonist evil villain <laughs> we have, dude. We have one outfit for creepy antagonists in this <laughs> in this franchise. <laughs> anyway, let's uh Can I do anything in here? Change clothes. Yes. Could you go throughout the entire game in that? I don't think so, but oh god. Creeper. Creeper be creeping. She has very big boobs, by the way. Considering she's not wearing a bra, they are very perky. Maybe she had some work done. Eh, maybe. How old is she meant she meant to be anyway? I can't remember. Oh my god, look at the camera pan. I think she's supposed to be 19. Well, she's a college What's person. So 1920, something like that. Uh. Then the painting blinks. Okay. That works, but what should I... What, what do you mean, mean that, that works? works? <laughs> it's clothing! <laughs> if I just find a map of this place, I can get my bearings. We've got square is kick and triangle is throw. L1 is crouch, R1 is back step. Push background objects and background... Okay, I understand. Oh my god, a woman who could push things in a game! <laughs> I'm just running for a few <laughs> seconds, press the square button. I don't think we'll be doing a lot of that, really. One of the best moves in the game is like this, where you like, you you jump back and then you do that. That's it, yeah. You jump back, but you have to do that afterwards. Me. That's like uh, the biggest like damage she can do by herself, I believe. This is the only, the only, well, honestly, it's been a very long time since I've watched a playthrough of this game. Uh, but from what I remember, the only, one of the only things that I give it props for is at least giving a reason why she's wearing such a ridiculous outfit. Because most games, they just show up like that. <laughs> for no reason. That's true. Oh, I remember the jiggly boobs. She got very jiggly boobs. We'll, see, we'll be seeing a lot of these. 
Anyway, um, it's like it's like to the amount where my modified Sim games they have jiggle boops. It's that. I'm trying to make them jiggle more. Anyway, guys, um, the main story does continue out this room, but I'm gonna just backtrack and get a few items. So we'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys. So in the interim, Chris and Miss having a poo poo, but I'm gonna show you what we picked up in this section very quickly. We've got a medallion, some magnesia, some chamomile, some antimony powder, and lavender. Basically, these items do various things. For example, the chamomile will restore our health fully, the lavender will stop us panicking. So just like in Clock Tower 3, for those of you who watched that playthrough, if you didn't, make sure you do. There'll be a link in the description. Um, the uh, medallion, I believe, can be used as a weapon, as can the magnesia. I want to say, and you put them on the floor, enemies run to them, they blow up, and it slows them down. It can knock them out. You can knock out enemies in this game physically through combat, but um, once you do that, they, they will get up again and come after you again, just like just like in Clock Tower, I guess, but this game doesn't have as many set pieces to get away. You have to rely on brute force and uh, other means to deal with enemies more than you would do in the Clock Tower games. Just thought I'd let you know, a little bit of a PSA, while I wait for Kristen to come back from her, no doubt, amazing shit. Hey now, kids. Big shout out to our Patreon supporter. Auroboros. You pretty nice video. Yeah. Can you do that, Bubba? Can you give me an Auroboros? Auroboros. Auroboros. It's not bad. 7 out of 10. Maybe a 3. I don't have gels. Maybe a 3. Are you saying I have gels? Excuse me? Cut this! Cut this shit! Alright. We have some items, guys. You'll see some open doors. That's because I was picking up some stuff. But now we're going to continue on with our wonderful journey through this wonderful place. There's a, there's a fly landed on my nose. <laughs> this is going to make me freak out, but that's okay. Let's look at the jam. <gasps> oh, jam! Is this jam? <laughs> Pepper, she said it. She said jam. Oh, no. It has a panic mechanic. I forgot about uh, it that. It does, yeah. Uh, it's a horrible one, too. It's like amnesias, actually. More than... um. Clock Tower's one, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, Clock Tower's one... ...was really obnoxious. ...was really obnoxious. That door is currently locked. We're gonna go up here, and something bomb's gonna happen. Let's go! Boop, boop, boop. You know what always pissed me off about... Uh, never mind, I'll tell you after this. Look at that ass, Bubba. <laughs> you see the cheeks. I don't know why you thought it would be a good idea to look! You said Dolly! Did you see the bit? You said Dolly, Bubba! He was looking up his skirt totally. He's like, do I want this shit, doll? Or, maybe, I want this one with the boobies. <laughs> shit, doll? Missing an eye and a nose. Booby doll. <laughs> I want booby doll. <laughs> Fuck shit doll. <laughs> we need to leave now. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, let's go. Gotta run away, don't mind me. I hate the music in this. I forgot about the chase music. At least it's really clear. See, his I don't mind, but Dahlia's. Hers terrifies me genuinely. I didn't do that. Oh no, what should I do? If I don't do something, that thing will get me. Okay. Well, you should probably do something then. Under the bed. Evasion points. Press circle there an invasion point to use it. If you approach a possible evasion point, you'd be pursued by enemy. The words, wait a second, what's that will display? That's quite handy. He's gonna be chasing us a lot, guys, by the way. Like, more. You, you thought the clock tower pursuers were persistent? These guys are way worse. They're cunts. Oh, I hate this. Go away. Go away, Nikki. I nearly got out then by mistake. That would have been bad. The only. Don't so, Coast Clear will appear once they've gone, but it is the biggest lie ever. Because sometimes it'll say coast clear and you'll leave and then they'll be inside you. Where is you? Did he say where is you? Yeah. 
I didn't know he speaked. He spoke. <laughs> He's still around. Alright, wish me luck, brother. He's already here again. He hasn't left the area. He's gonna find you again because he used it twice. Nah. He probably will find me again. Yeah, because he used it twice. He's such a bumpkin, this guy. Can you look around or? Nah. I tried to. Is he sniffing me out? Yeah, he is. I don't like this. He's definitely gonna find you. No way he isn't gonna find you. I'm gonna stay here for about 10 minutes. Okay. Liar! I heard him grunting. So, how's it going? Well, you know, it's a lot of this. <laughs> right, that's the music back properly. Yes. He's gonna be right there, isn't he? Alright. This way again. So no. We can pick up his dolly, by the way, as a distraction. That his decomposing cool. dolly. I did hear that. Look at her boobs. A bisque doll. And here we go. It's a lot of jam. Be nice if you could close the door. Why aren't you closing the door? Thank you. <laughs> that wasn't jam. Oh, hi! It's a Nomkin, Bubba. Do you like Nomkins? Oh, yeah. Probably shouldn't have done that, actually. Does uh, breaking things cause them to find you? I don't know. A huge doll made of earth blocks the door. There is a slot-shaped hole in its chest. I would call it a statue, not a doll. Like, There's... after a certain size, your initial action, reaction wouldn't be, Oh, look at that doll. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's, it's, I would say I'd call it a golem, to be honest with you. A deciphering of the Book of Origins, Seferu Yatira has uncovered the process for creating life from earth soil. The golem needs not nourishment nor sleep, making this earthen guardian the ultimate safekeeper of our deepest alchemic no secrets and knowledge. I dub this creature MF. Okay. So. You ought to put the voice of God in him or something at some point, I remember. Very shortly, actually. <laughs> Open it up! We don't know how doors work. We graduated college, but we don't know. Either we graduated college or we're like a freshman in college or something like that. I'm fairly certain. Gonna close the door again? This is gonna be a problem. I'm not even sure I'm meant to be in this room yet, but let's have a look around. Oh yeah, this is the right room. What is this crazy technology? Excuse me? For fuck's sake, you should know what a typewriter is. Alright, so the golem's name is Emeth, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's what you can type in to win. But if you type in meth, okay, you get a secret item that's more powerful. There's nothing in it, is there, at the moment? Oh, there is. And full disclosure, our guide says there's one other plate we can use to get a bonus on this playthrough, and that's typing in Magnus. No idea where you find that out. Don't really care. I'm gonna pick it up anyway. <laughs> yeah, if you want a true, like, blind playthrough, this one's not really yourself. for you. <laughs> plate yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've got two plates. What about emeth? You don't need emeth, you just need meth. <gasps> Meth works in the same way as Emeth for some reason, apparently. I don't really know, but uh, apparently that is the case. 
We're gonna go and feed the golem the delicious play. Om nom 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 nom. Oh my god. I'm not gonna get used to X being run and B and fucking circle being open. It's the opposite to what it is on most games. They wanna be unique. They wanna be bumpkins. I will say this isn't tank controls, by the way, guys. This is uh real time? <laughs> no, that's not real time is the wrong word. <laughs> Anyway, eat the plate, you numkin. Are you supposed to do the bonus one first? No, that's for something else completely. Mm. Different room, different time. Oh my god. So this is a, a secret item, the obsidian choker. So in this game, there's these things called luminescence, which are like exactly like the butterflies in Clock Tower. You know, the ones that bum into you? Mm -hmm. Basically, if we put this on, it means they can't hurt us. And that makes the game a ton easier. I, d I was going to say, though, before we went into that room. Yes. Uh, the thing that I get, it's like, okay, fine. You're naked, you put on the clothes. Why do you put on all of the accessories? <laughs> a, got to access a girl's got to accessorize. <laughs> Ubu. <laughs> like, you put on the freaking brooch, you put on the necklace. <laughs> <laughs> if there's bracelets, you put those on. Like, why? <laughs> She's a girl with a sense of fashion, you know? She knows what computer- oh, there's a shiny on top of a pillar there that we cannot reach. So we'll worry about that later on. Gonna climb down here. Oh my god, it's pretty dumb. Alright. Oh, Jaws, baby, I love Jaws. What's this? What is it? Magnesia. They're like bombs that you put on the floor. That's convenient that it didn't blow up the second you kicked it. It is very convenient. Let's go on here. <laughs> there are different ways you can evade, by the way. You can go behind shit, and you can crouch. Like, it's just teaching me now. You can avoid enemies by pressing the L1 near a shadow. So, like, it doesn't look like you're hidden, but you can do that, basically. And it does work. Within a certain... A certain amount, anyway. Key, grab it. In a minute. I'm going around here first. I don't trust. I don't like that sheet, by the way. I like the fact she says hard what's this when there's an item around because it is handy. Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna pick up the key and something bomb's gonna happen. Oh, what's this? It's a key, baby. Like you said. Fiona, I see you finally awaken. There's something that I've wanted to show you for quite some time. It's his penis. Literally. Away that sheet behind you. Oh, this is fucked up, I remember now. Oh yeah, I remember. Oh dear. Will be mine, Fiona. <laughs> it's just rapiness straight out the gate. <laughs> you know, she's handling this surprisingly well. I'm gonna leave the, preg the pregnant statue of me there and just take the key. Which we decided to leave, by the way. Initially. I believe this key is for the door back here, by the way. Or maybe I'm wrong. The door is locked. 
I will need to find a key. Well, I think we might have it. Let me see. Do I have to use keys? Oh, that would suck. We'll find out in a minute. Yes, I do. Ah. Oh. <laughs> but first, we have some problems to deal with. Like, why are your boot noises so loud? So these are the luminescence I was talking about, but because we have the obsidian choker on, we all Gucci. Are you sure? At least, I don't, it might like not infinitely protect us, but at least for a while it will. Luminescence are tiny creatures that feverishly pursue Fiona once they have caught wind of her. From a luminescence makes contact with Fiona, it not only puts her in a state of panic, but also ruptures, producing a sound which attracts the unwanted attention of nearby enemies. Luminescence do fade over time, but the most effective way to get rid of yourself of these troublesome creatures is to reach a neighbouring area and close the door. Doing this cuts off the luminescence sensing abilities and stops them dead in their tracks. Well... Just gonna pop in here, don't mind me. Close the door. There we go. All good. I hear a save point, oh, by the way. Oh, uh... What? Go back to your menu. Go over to comment. I forgot that was a ting. Oh, where am I? I was in a car with my parents and I... It's no good, everything seems so fuzzy. I guess she is one of the maids working here. She's so beautiful. Almost too beautiful. It almost seems unnatural. Damn, Fiona. It feels almost like it was custom tailored to fit me. It really clings to my shape quite nicely. That it feels a little tight in the chest area. <laughs> I have to get away, but where to? So this ma no comment on the pregnant statue, by the way. <laughs> it's just like no comment. <laughs> so this machine is used to engrave letters into these plate things. The only question is, why build a machine for this sole purpose? I am just pretending that never happened. What do the plates do? Exactly. She's just like let's just let's just block it out. <laughs> All right. Anyway, there should be a save point around here. Right here, for example. There is one hit kill deaths in this, frequently by the way. We won't- I'm not gonna try and get them all, but if we accidentally get one, so be it. You know what I mean? Mm. Alright. So, Nom. We're gonna leave this door and keep going. There's something down on the table there. Let's grab it. Can we pick stuff up while being chased by... I do not know. I never really thought about that, you know what I mean? Mm. The door, I'm just gonna look around here. I thought it might be a terrible idea. What is this? I don't like any of this. I, mean, I don't like any of it. This is a pretty bum place, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this is very nice. It's, it's not going to be nice. We can run around the table, I'll confuse him. He'll be like, oh, what's this? I don't understand. You know what I mean? Alright. Now we're going to go downstairs to the Cripper, Cripper Staircase, man. There's a man made out of stairs down there, brother. Oh, God. This true horror. Lovecraft horror. Oh. The playboy panel is blocking my path, but we've broken through easily enough, alright. Damn! Damn, Fiona. <laughs> that was quite impressive, actually, wasn't it? Mmm. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Pick it up! A castle sketch. Okay. Well, I would assume that's a map. Should we have a look at it? Yeah. Great! Okay, what the hell is that if not a map? Are we you... filling out as we go along? <laughs> I think we are. I think we genuinely are filling it out as we go along. To f uh. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh. Well, something's happening. This is fun. Yep. That low textured meat. <laughs> Where the fuck did he come from? <laughs> Head 
sleep on him. He's not the smartest though in the box, is he? I'm not sure why you're swiping from above the counter. Where, where the fuck have I come from? In this outfit, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Are you serious? Did I twist my ankle? You couldn't clear a single step. Oh no. I like how the door just so gently opens. With his... <laughs> He's just like, gotta keep going and do my normal thing now. She's gone. Could be anywhere. I'll never know. Oh, I do know. Okay, we gotta leave now. Goodbye. Goodbye, nice man. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nice. Stop. Stop. Fiona, come on. Oh my god. What the fuck was that shot? It was his eyebrow. Oh, hi, Pretzel! Shit! Hi! Hi! No! 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 Tense cutscene interrupted by a papilla, but it's so numb. This is like so weirdly paced, this scene. He's like, I'll get the doll later then. <laughs> He's really scared of that chair. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, hi, Rodrigo. I mean, person we don't know. I am Ricardo. Ricardo, not Ricardo Rodrigo, sorry. So sorry to hear about your accent. It ends in O, so you know. Your parents. I mean, they were going pretty fast for a road with logs in the middle of it. <laughs> As Master Ugo and Mistress Ayla are both deceased, you, Miss Fiona, are the sole surviving... Oh yeah, her name's Fiona Belly. Uh, are you in pain, Miss? Uh, Will you be alright? You've had a long day. Please. Rest upstairs. Your bed has been prepared. Who farted? <laughs> Press what are you eating? Stop it! <laughs> I can't pause right now to, to stop you! <laughs> Before we continue, Chrism, could you go and stop Pretzel from destroying what she's doing? <laughs> and make sure she's not being a bunky. It's, it's not real. It's just a dream. It is real, Fiona. It's, it's as real as a naughty puppy. Yeah. To me. It can't be. Speaking of puppies. Alright guys, just gonna drop a save here, and then we gotta go and save a pup here, which is very, very no. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to go save the pup here. I mean, do we really know? Oh, it does sound quite sad. Yeah. 
You know what he's saying? What? Hot dog, yeah? I don't think so. It... Oh, it's nighttime. That makes it even spookier in Dukia. I do appreciate the fact that Fiona can run without, like, running out of breath every few seconds. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Unforgivable. A wire is bound to the poor animal. It's digging deeply into the dog's neck. Oh, no. Go now. And don't get caught this time. I mean, you're pretty new. Go. I can't believe there are people out there that would do this to a poor helpless animal. And that man, so big and freaky. I just want to get out of this nightmare as soon as I can. I mean, there's a tree in the perfect place to scale from the wall. Exactly. My parents are dead. It has to be a lie. Maybe it's just a dream. Or maybe I'm just in shock or something. That has to be it. <laughs> what? Poor, poor pooch. You really look hurt. I hope you'll be alright. Hopefully you'll have enough strength to run away if someone comes after us. It'll be fine, I'm sure. Let's go back to bed. It's late at night. We need to sleep. Oh, or not. You know how that's really creepy? You know how you shouldn't look at it at all? Let's go up here instead. <laughs> Gonna ignore? It's not there? No nothing, no nothing. Hop, in here. <laughs> Just have a nice little seat. With oh. no one watching us at all. <laughs> Are you serious? You have to fall on your butt. He really wants to see our razor, huh? <laughs> Luckily, Pretzel can't hear this. Yeah. Very lucky, otherwise, she'd be just growling the whole time. Push up on the right analog stick to come on the dog to attack. There we go. Fortunately, Debilitus is a bit scared of dogs, which does make her life a bit easier. By the way, do you know if you play this game on hard, if the dog gets hurt, it's game over. So don't play it on hard. <laughs> You're so pathetic, Fiona. Thank you. You saved me. I mean, you are a woman in a, a Japanese horror, so of course it's going to be that way. But still. Come on, boy. What is it, you will be a doll? What's your name? Nunky. No, that's not mine. <laughs> My name's Nunky. So you're Huey? No. Why don't you understand? <laughs> it's Nunky. Well, hi. Huey's Huey. pretty ripped, by the way. It's not the highest quality bark clip, is it? No, it's not, no. <laughs> Huey is befriended you. Give him various commands via the right analog stick. Up is search or attack. Down uh, is normal mode. Call Huey to your side while biting enemy press down. We have to train him, which is going to suck, by the way, guys. Scold if Huey's bad. We've got to scold him, but that can also give you a bad ending. And right is praise. 
Okay. Push the R3 button. Huey will sit and stay. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna fuck up. I, I don't think scolding is necessarily a good idea, by the way. I think it often causes problems. Go, Huey. Come on, Huey, come here. Huey! 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 You're, no. He's doing what you told him to do. I scolded him by accident. I say scold. Oh, did he find something for me? He did what you asked him to do, and then you got mad. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. All right, so we're gonna go through here, guys. We're going. This is the spooky door that opened, and there's something up there. Go Huey, Huey, go get it for me. Oh, what a nomkin! Look at him go, Bubby. What is that? A broken marionette. Can we come here, you good boy? Good boy? Who's a nomkin? You can be the puppier. You were gonna call me Preston. I nearly called you Preston, yeah, that is true. But you know. Oh, you see me? It's pretty, you know? Oh, you wanna go somewhere? Okay. Is this role play? Don't answer that question. <laughs> I got a medallion. This very no. I think this is the way out of the castle, by the way. So let's just go home, okay? Okay. Or not. <laughs> okay, listen, oh my god. Could you pick a tone and stick with it? <laughs> Camera, keep going. No! Go, Huey. <laughs> Camera didn't keep going. Huey, where are you? Come on. Huey? Where is the Where'd he go? Oh, come here. Huey, he's looking. He's not. Huey. He shouldn't be. You told him to go. No, I'm Huey. telling him to follow, not go. Well now you are, but you're Huey. doing the ting. That you do with pretzel, well you don't let them tink! <laughs> Go, Huey. I need you to search here, Huey. Huey! Go, Huey. Thank you. Did you find something? You did. What did you find? Jam? Yes. It's, it's jam. It's not rather. jam. It was jam! It's not jam. Oh, I'm the one who found it, I should know. <laughs> Are you going to be role-playing as the puppy here for no one? Maybe. I'll probably get bored though. <laughs> you probably will, yeah. Anyway, we gotta backtrack now. Let's get the fuck out of here. I am gonna save here, guys, and I'm gonna show you one of the deaths now, okay? You right with that, Bubba? Yeah. Because sure. there's a death here we can get if we don't do things right. There's no knob, but there's a hook. I wonder what we could use in place of a doorknob. Well, the answer is the very non marionette that we found somewhere. Where is it? There. Broken marionette. Use. It's not really broken, is it? It's just a marionette. I got no strength to hold me down. Perfect. So, if you go in this room without doing something else first, you're in Bumville. And Bumville is bum. Why are you in Bumville? I hear debilitus, so we're just going to run into this room. This place is freakish. Debilitus is coming for me, I just realized. But that's okay. Because we're going to run over this and get a death! And he'll never know. I think he will. We're fine. <laughs> Why would you make this room, by the way? Especially when the whole point of Fiona being here is she needs to be alive. <laughs> In order to have a bubba. Yeah. Acta es fabula. What does that mean? I don't know. Ting's a bum. That's what it means. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, let me just reload. I should have done a different kind of save, but never mind.
this could get very bum here, guys. Because we know for a fact that Debilitus is around. You know what I mean? No, don't worry about it. So we I may need to run. I thought we weren't supposed to go into this room. We have to go into here, but we open it and then we go and do something else first. Something? No. Something for the whole family. Mm. And by that, I mean we don't go into room. Yeah, he's here. I swear I just heard something. No shit. No, you didn't hear nothing. Huey, please come here. Before Debilitus oh, does. Come on. Huey, please. Come on. What's the matter? Debilitus is coming and he's freaking out. Go, Huey. Please, Huey. We're gonna die unless you come here now. Come on. Come on. He's literally around the corner. Come, come here. On. Go, Huey. Come on, please work this out. Go, Huey. Please. Bevy, let him think, for Christ's sake. He's an idiot. <laughs> you are impatient. I'm sorry. We don't have time to fuck around. There's a 600 pound man trying to crush me. Come on. Good. Stay. How do I make you stay? Sit. 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 Oh Good. my God. It's gonna drive you Stop nuts. Stop it. Isn't it? It's gonna, is that gonna drive you nuts? This is why our daughter doesn't respond to most of the commands anymore. Because she goes, she goes, sit, 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 and Pretzel will be looking at her. <laughs> like what? You string it together so fast. I don't understand. <laughs> Anyway, every, as you can tell, everything is numb. It's not numb. It's a breaker box. Lower the handle. Yes. I think we just Come disabled on. the trap, by the way. Come on. Come on, Huey. Be a numbkin. Come here. Come here. There we go. Who's a good boy? Not good boy. You're a good boy. No, Huey. <laughs> if you were a good boy, you'd leave us to die because we, that's what we deserve. Let's just go. <laughs> no, he is a good boy. He's a super numbkin, right? <gasps> we got a phone call, Bubba. It's probably our mum. That's the only person that phones me. <laughs> I like how some parts of the model are just so low res. <laughs> Like, this isn't a PC. Who is this? That's not how you talk into a phone. You, you can tell you Sasha's a millennial. She's not. She's probably my age right now. She's older than you. Hello? Hello? That's really not how you talk into a Are phone. You there? You're supposed to put it to your ear at the same time. As far as I remember, this is where the game got really bummed for me and I started really struggling after this cutscene. Oh, that's not that's gonna awesome. bode well. <laughs> yeah, he's coming. My darling. Did you say my darling? Yes. You just ran directly into him. I don't know how you managed to get away with that without getting punched. Don't question it, go. Don't question it, go. Is he tired? Yeah. Unfortunately, this seems like one of the games, because we had a stretch of games where they are forgiven when you open doors. I don't think this is going to be one of those. It definitely is not. I don't know where I'm going, by the way. But, like, 
I'm just blindly running at this point in time. Yeah, no, this is not going to be one of those games. Oh, this is the hiding spot, but unfortunately, he came in the room with me. Where the fuck am I? Oh, you just triggered a cutscene. Oh yeah, something bad. I hope this isn't a death. Oh, oh! This is actually an escape point, I guess. Well, it would be if you weren't so weak! <laughs> Oh, thank fuck. I'm a no kin even if you're an idiot. And any time now. And you're even a bigger idiot. <laughs> okay, that takes him out of commission for quite a while. Apparently, by the way, you, you have to have the exact right things happen in order for that to like go down correctly. If Huey isn't the room with you when that happens, mm -hmm. you're fucked. Because you can't knock him down. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So that's... uh. Come on. Good boy. He's coming. He's coming. Get him. Oh, he hides with you. I was going to wait here a minute, guys. I need a minute oh, to compose so myself. Oh, pretzel would get us caught. Oh, just so be again, I'm reading this from the guide, so I just want to point this out. So if Huey doesn't hide with you, they're more likely to find you. And he has to be good friends with you and buy your feet for him to hide with you. <sighs> just as well when I accidentally kicked him when Crescent wasn't in the room that she didn't see it. Bye bye. I didn't mean to. I pressed the wrong button. I <laughs> felt awful. <laughs> Oh my god, that was that was absolutely fucking horrific. By the way, oh my god, oh there he is. Yeah, <laughs> that took a while. Oh come on. There's no way you'd know I was there. I'm gonna give him a minute to fuck off, okay? Yeah. Alright, so this is the room where we use that special key we made, by the way. The optional key. Mm-hmm. The, the Magnus one it was, yeah? Yeah. Waiting for the music to start, then I'll leave. Okay, music is back fully. So there should be something here that I can use it on. Unless I completely... Unless it's like only on a new game plus or something. This. This. This thing here. So, we have the Magnus plate, you see? Mm -hmm. We use it here and we get two bits of equipment that help us. Inquisitor earrings and a J choker. Pretty handy, really. I don't know what they do, but we should probably have a look, yeah? Oh, yeah. First of all, any comments? I just want to find a way out of here. I just want to get out of here. But since the gates appear to be locked, I only have one other option. I need to find a different way out. Azoth? I've never heard of it before, but it looks like someone is trying to help me out this nightmare. No. No. <laughs> all right, he so just wants to fuck you himself. We have a Jade Choker. Uh... Reduces the speed at which stamina is lost and increases recovery speed. That's a permanent thing. Well, as oh, long we as choose. you're wearing it, honey, it's a piece of equipment. Okay, so I'm going to put the J choker on, and then when we, see, when we if we see any luminescence, yeah, we uh, we swap it out. Can we wear earrings as well? Slightly increase the speed at which you calm down. Oh, perfect. So mm. we can wear both of those. You can only just wear one accessory though. I think we could do two chokers at once. I think we could pull it off with our huge tits. What do you think, baby? You're not putting the choker on your tits! Listen. It's, if it's a necklace, it, I, I am. And it looks like a necklace in the picture, okay? Kind of. Right? No. It looks like... I mean, 
technically a neck a, a choker is a, a type of necklace. It's just how it is resting on your neck. Oh, I re I remember this room. <laughs> Go completely. Uh, listen, it's because listen, bumpkin. Did you find something? Yes. <laughs> Bebe, listen. I am an expert at fashion. So if I get... Huey. Listen. <laughs> I can't wear trokers because I'm fat. Okay? The end. <clears throat> the end. Come on. Huey, come in. I don't think Huey can go through here, right? This looks more like a me-shaped hole. Should we go through? Cracks and pops crackle out the dubious looking hole. Everything about the hole screams, don't go in. Yes, let's go in. I think we're going to die. No, it's just a, it's a sneak. Okay, so this is like a super safe. This is actually a safe room. Oh, there's the crafting in this game, right? That I never actually understood. Whatsoever. I never understood this bit. Are you serious? Yeah, it's crafting. You don't have to do it, but uh, I'll, I'll show it to you. There's something written here. Variato Machina. By using medallions, one can actually transform items into new things. This new item is roughly determined by the base color's color compatibility. Album white is mainly used to create objects by their human creators. Rubberum red is used to compose antimony and magnesia. There's so the weapons. Viri green is used to creation of medallions or other metallic objects. Viola blue is used to create offerings to animals and beasts. So jerky, I guess. Perpetua Machino. Reacting to the needs of its user, it can produce quantities of antimony powder and magnesia. However, one hasn't that means to protect oneself. Come here for sanctuary. So this room is safe as well. Like, it's one of the only safe rooms in the whole fucking game. Alright. And this is the machine that you can use, right? But this ne I never really understood it. So we'll just, do we'll, just we'll just fuck around a bit here. Well, I mean, are you sure you want to? Yeah. So the goal... Oh, I fucked up already. Great. Because there's a time limit, I didn't realise. So you meant to stop it on a colour. I didn't stop any of them on a colour. Let's try one more time. Oh. This is really hard! As you can see, this is very confusing. Did it still eat the stuff? It does, yeah. That's dumb. It's fine. We're going to leave this for now anyway, because I never really understood it, and you don't need to do it to beat the game. So, I think I'm just going to go back to Huey, because he'll get sad and lonely otherwise, you know what I mean? And he is a nomkin, right? He is a nomkin. Huey. Come on, Huey. He's in the wall, though. <sighs> I don't like the fact that door's open, by the way. It concerns me. Someone's going to go and touch your bum. Go, Huey. Huey, look. You're looking Why for things? Why is this section sectioned off? I don't really know. <laughs> it's like, in case the tourists come and look around. No, nothing there. Alright, it's fine, Huey. Let's check this corner here. Go, Huey. I think there's an item here, basically. Just watch, I'm spamming the things. Yes! Oh my god, there's someone. What is it? Camera. That's a full heal. So that's really useful. Good boy. Alright, let's go in here. Huey. Let's close this door. Let's close the door. No. I thought I was going to close Huey out for a minute and I was going to panic. We got some magnesia. Brilliant. Now let's try not to explode it. I hear a clock anyway, so that means that we've got a save point here, right? A little save point, Chan? Yes. And a bed! So we can hide under the bed as well, I think. But I'm not going to. So, as Chrism pointed out earlier, she did say this, but... When you hide, if you hide in the same place, they'll be like, Oh! Maybe I didn't look there last time! Oh, we can't freshen up here, baby. That's a shame, isn't it? That's your main concern, freshening yeah. up. <laughs> Anything else here? Nope, that's it. Huey. 
going back upstairs. Come on, Huey. Come on, Huey Chin. Do we go in here? Oh, this is a trap. Look at it. This bum. Yeah, he's growling at it. Good boy. Thank you for telling. Don't, don't, don't get it. Can Huey get it? Maybe it won't fall under his weight. A few moments later. Yeah, this is definitely a trap. Yes, but I think we need to get down here anyway. Oh, did you make sure there was nothing else up there then? No, we have to come back there later on. But it gives him the edge on us here, unfortunately. Phew, my leg hurts. Yeah, he's coming for us. But on the plus side, here's the item. That was jerky! Definitely worth it. Ah! <laughs> I don't know where I am. And we lost Huey because he didn't fall with us. Oh god, that's bum. Oh god, that's really bum. This is where Debilitus lives, right, I think? Maybe? It's definitely round here. I don't know where I'm going, baby. I, I don't know where I am. I can't help you. I'm just a little lost donkey. What is this? I see a... Oh, I don't have time for this. Great. No, we need to bring Huey back here, right? Yeah. Huey. Yeah, Huey is not with us. Oh, thing to break, though. <sighs> Definitely have time for that. We have time to do that, but not anything else. This is the Bilitus' house. This is where he lives, in this little, in this little place here. My God. I don't think this is a bad thing. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 yeah, he can. Yeah. This still going to be locked, isn't it? Probably. You're probably going to die here. Oh, maybe not. Close the door. Oh, no. I heard, I heard, I hear him. Oh. He's being hurt. He's not being hurt. Oh. That's pretty nice. Goodbye. We've got to go back down now. You're, you're caught. Why can't I climb? You're caught. Yeah, he's not touching me! There's no reason that stupid bitch couldn't have fucking climbed! Oh, there's a ladder here, but there's a man named me. I don't want him to see him up my skirt. Oh, I'm fucked. That's, I'm probably done so here. Yeah. Open the door, you useless bitch! Oh my god, she won't open it. She won't do anything. Oh my god! Yeah, That's she's so dumb. too much. Alright, now she's... Oh! Okay. Didn't know that could happen. How did that not kill you? <laughs> I don't know, but it gives me a bit of an edge because he takes fucking ages climbing. He's gonna jump down, isn't he? He's gonna jump down after me. I'm really injured. You just got punted from a ledge. I would think you are. I can still heal. Oh god, I'm freaking out as well. Alright, guys. So this is the thing we were looking for. Apparently, I need to kick this three times, and something bum's gonna happen. You ready, Bubba? Sure. I mean, the bridge is opening. That seems pretty numb. Okay, that's not so numb. That is the opposite of numb, if I'm honest with you. Here he comes. Let's go. Please climb down the ladder before he kicks you down the ladder, Fiona, like last time. Because <laughs> that was pretty bum. He's gonna jump down, isn't he? Yeah. Oh no, he's climbing. Top five mistakes. Checkmate. 
Yeah, the time apart from Huey has completely made him hate us again now. <laughs> I don't know where he went. Well, you know this guy could be an Anomkin. Listen. When you're handling Huey. Okay, come on. Huey, come on. Huey, please get on here with me. He won't. Please don't come in here and hit him. He He's probably gonna. will. Because you didn't wait for him to be by your feet. He also hates me at the moment. Huey's like, well, you were separate from me for five seconds, that's it? No, it was a lot longer, and you kept screaming at him like he was supposed to do something. He didn't come in the room. Yes, he did. Huey. Huey's spinning in the doorway right now. You're gonna get caught. No, I haven't hit it before. No one hurt you, Huey! I definitely saw him not doing anything, actually. No, he's just crying because he misses you. I'm gonna wait for him to go away completely. Okay. The coast is clear, maybe. Should I save again? Yeah. Because that bit was bum, I'm gonna be honest. Save in a different slot. Seven. I'm not going to save in six, it's an unlucky number. Huey. I love you, okay? I missed you, I'm sorry. Sorry for being grumpy with you. Oh, look at the tail. That's better. Alright, we're going to go back to that bridge. You should play ball with him again. I, I feel a bit stressed out at the moment, if I'm honest with you, baby. <laughs> the impending... Oh, God. The impending doom that is plaguing us everywhere we go is definitely an obstacle to my, you know, being calm. Well, I'm just saying, if you made him like you more, then it'd be easier to get him to do what you want. If the ball is actually a ball. And if you didn't lose the ball, like you said you couldn't lose the ball. I was right. You can't. So dare. Go, Huey. He's having fun. There you go. Oh, he's getting... He got something for me, actually. Oh, good boy. I feel like Come he on. doesn't know how to play fetch. I don't think most dogs do, to be honest with you. Come here. Come on. Now, now tell him he's a good numkin. You're a good numkin. Good boy. All right. Now, I need you to stay here, Huey. Sit. Okay, you stay there. I'll be back in a few minutes, all right? I've got to go and solve a puzzle. Mommy has to solve a puzzle, okay? <laughs> I think you'll remember this next room, baby. Because it's awful. Let's go. I remember spending a long time in this room.
pumpkin. I think we're nearly done. Mm, we're good. This pretty numb. Considering what a boring fucking puzzle this is. This took me forever the first time I did it, I'm sure. I thought, you, I thought Daniela chased you with this one, but I guess I was wrong. Mm, can you do it out of order? Maybe? I, I fairly rem I, being, I remember being chased by Daniela in this room, but I guess not at the moment. Maybe you just ran through the room. Yeah. Although apparently, if there's a puzzle in the room, the enemy can't come in. Which I'm not sure is true, but we'll see. Then yeah, you probably solved the puzzle and then ran... Got chased by a bumpkin, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, it's numbing its own tail! That doesn't seem like it's a good idea, but then again, every puppy ever does it. Except, I don't think Pretzel's ever done it. Now that I think about it. I don't think a Pretzel has ever chased her tail. She's numbed it if somebody pets at the, like, the base of it, and she's like, no. It's my tail. It's my tail, Nobody don't touch else is. it. <laughs> it's like in here. He's like, I'm not trying to take your tail. You are. I'm trying to steal it. It's mine. <laughs> How dare you. I think this should unlock a door. Yes. And take us back to the outside area. Miko used to chase his tail when he got really excited. Oh, that's really cute. I kind of wish that Pretzel would do that. A few moments later. It says press up on the stick by the hole and he shall go and get the flowers. Come on. Yes! I had to look at it first for fuck's sake. So, it is your fault. Is he actually getting them or is he just staring at them? He might oh, just be we... staring at them. So this is timed. We have to grab these flowers, guys, and then make it back to another a certain room. Or it won't work. Okay. The flowers will wilt. Okay. Huey. Huey, I need you to cooperate here or we're doomed. Come on, Huey. Huey, Huey why aren't you following me? Why are you just barking? Come on. Come on! Huey. We're running out of time! We have seconds! You stupid dog! Go, Huey. I need him to go in here now. Go, Huey. Go. Go, Huey. Go, Huey. Alright, we need to leave him here. What am I doing? I use I the flowers here, right? I don't know. Like, I pretty remember, I think you put the flowers here. Or not. <laughs> there should be a, a vase in this room. Oh, that? Over here. Yes! Okay. Then the moths, or whatever they are, the bees, the moth, the moth bees, will fly over. The moth bees. They're moths. Moths are butterflies. Huey should be staying in that hole. And if he isn't, we're gonna have words. And those words will be, no jerky for you ever again. Ever, baby. Am I being mean to Huey? Yeah, you are, especially since a lot of the fuck-ups seem to be you. Excuse me? What did you just say? I said you're fucking up! <laughs> Listen. And expecting way too much from a PS2 game! I need to push this in front of the door, but because she's a moron. No, because you didn't close the door. To be fair, in my defense, her responsiveness when it comes to closing doors is press the button six times in front of the door and eventually she realizes there's a door there. Apparently that is as far as we're going to go with the thing. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Alright, so what is in here? Buntings? Numtings? Washing machines? You'll never know. Huh. There's something in the drain. Oh. Well, that's... that's none. Why are we in here? I don't really know. But we need to look around and find out. I'm pretty sure Huey is meant to be in here. Or nearby. So we're gonna have a look around. Let's try down here.
There he is. Get the item. Huey? Huey? Go, Huey. Huey Nomkin. Don't what just sit down and wag your tail at me. Why don't you tell him to come? Because it's not the right control. I don't want him to come to me. I want him to pick up the Go, thing. Huey. Oh, maybe. I can't control what's going on. Yes! Bubby! Here's the study key. I only took, what, four tries for him to actually listen to me? What a numkin. What an absolute no Listen, Bubby! Listen. I'm not gonna listen to you anymore. In fact, I'm gonna tune you out for the rest of this playthrough. Because you for know the rest why? Because you know why? I think every time I hear you talk, it shaves off a little bit of my life expectancy. And I'm getting quite tired of it because you've probably shaved off a good ten years by now. Ten years? Ten years. Ten years? I don't believe you. Well, if I die... <laughs> I feel pretty guilty, that is true. <laughs> Alright, we are actually nearly done with this section of the game, the first chapter, but we have a few more things we need to do, so let's go and do them. You could have called him a good boy. I can't! You have to be next to him to do that! You can't! Call him while you're away from him and tell him he's a good boy. I have seen you do it. Listen. You're complaining. Oh, he doesn't listen to me. Oh, he doesn't do this. Oh, he doesn't he's do here. that. And I'm not this. saying that this is the best AI in video games. Because I think we've established this is not the best AI in video games. But goddamn, you're not making things easy for yourself. Come on, here. Stop bucking at the tank. Come on. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Oh, what's he doing? Well, you ran past him. He was by that wall. I saw, but what was he doing by the wall? He was like picking his bum or something. I mean, probably. This is a serious problem, by the way, that we have here. Why? Because I need to climb those ladders that he threw me off before. I'm going to use this. Okay. Okay. What do you do with it? I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. I feel like you could have probably gotten away. <laughs> Enjoy the doll. Come on. Huey. Huey. Well, that didn't do anything! <laughs> ah! Are you fucking kidding me?! <laughs> you cunt bag! <laughs> Better not be hitting the puppy, yeah. Please close the door. Please close the door. I can't believe this is in this room, by the way. A room where we need to solve a puzzle and this thing's floating around. Arsehole. Huh? Well, What's this? What if... Can't you go out the room, close the door, open the door again, and then... That was it. Okay. You gotta turn these till they click. There should be another one in here. <gasps> Shh! Shh! I should've put... I should've just put the other thing on, shouldn't I, really? That would've been a smart move, but... Yeah, that would've been. But <laughs> Alright, we've done that. Now we can go and get Huey. Stupid fucking doll betrayed me. <laughs> the doll was probably laying there to it like, um, that's not quite how I look. <laughs> Just chucked it at his face. <laughs> I actually have no idea where I need to go here. Huey. So I hope I can find him. Fiona. Did you hear that? Yeah, and that's Huey. pretty bum. That was, uh, whatever his name is, Aribadanchi. Huey. I need Huey, but I don't know where he is. Like, I can't do the puzzle without him. He must be down here somewhere, right? Because it's like the ground floor. Well, where did you leave him? Well, here. Come on. I left him here, but he didn't. He didn't. He's gone. Come on. Well, you didn't tell him to sit. Well, to be fair, there was mitigating circumstances of a large man punching me. He wants his mummy. Come on. <laughs> I feel awful now. I can't even hear him. I don't know where he could. Oh, I hear him. Come I hear on. the Pete's. I hear the Pete's. 
Mummy. Come on. He's like, Mummy, 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 where are you? Oh. Oh. Give him the he knows he's gonna show up as I'm doing this. All right. Here we come on. Come on. I think I need to go in here. Yui. Come on. Yeah, this is it. So this thing. There it is. I don't know why I struggled with this puzzle before. It's really easy. <laughs> I think I might have just been an idiot. Ben? Shh, listen. This should work on one of these. We should be able to, like... Ease. He's gonna be right behind us. No. Not yet. But soon we're near the end of this chapter. Oh my gosh, something's gonna happen. We're coming up to the boss fight, Bubba. I don't think Moonlight would be that strong a force. Don't blame it on sunshine. Don't blame it on the moonlight. Don't blame it on sunbeams. Blame it on the boobies. What the hell are you talking about? That's that song! <laughs> Alright. We gotta save. The Bilitus is coming. <sighs> Almost done with this chapter. Yep. Only a few, literally a few rooms. Unfortunately, these rooms suck. <laughs> and include a boss fight, lol. So as you can see, Huey really doesn't like this room. And it's because there's spikes on the floor and holes. Bebe Numkin. What are you doing? We have to go around them in a set pattern. Now normally, that's a pattern of trial and error, and you dying constantly. But because I have a map here, <laughs> to tell me where the holes are, it's going to be significantly easier. Otherwise, I'd be dead. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you guys. <laughs> Come on. That's exceedingly easy, though. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, but you're not going to do that. The first time you come here, what are you going to do, huh? Good boy. You're going to run across the room like a nomkin. Good boy. Huey, I love you, but please listen to me. I love you. Good boy. Thank you. Let's just go. <laughs> All right, time for a boss fight, guys. Let's do this. Good boy. All right. You ready for the boss, baby? I mean, not really, but okay. The boss is the boss, baby, from the movie Boss, baby. That's weird. You. All right. Little Pete. There's some letters engraved here. To the seeker of the sacred technique of ours, obey the will of Hermes, divine cane, and hasten to the secret staircase. Well, that sounds bum. A cane? Curious. I bet this is related to that goddess statue. Search more thoroughly. Yes. Yes. That is a really obvious key. <laughs> this fight sucks, by the way. You know, I, uh, when, I, when we started the game, I was like, oh, that's the powerful move. Mm -hmm. We need to use that, but I've forgotten how to do it since I did it at the start. You did a backspace and then you went forward. Yeah, it's like it's like back and then attack. You, you have to do like a rapid succession and she does like a, a thump. And we have to do it while being chased, by the way, obviously as well, which is you know, the best thing. This is bomb. It's time. It's time to take him out once and for all though here. <laughs> so, uh, you actually, by the way, I did, uh, so there's different endings to this game. If you kill Debilitus here, you get the bad ending. Oh, I thought you get, I thought I got it. So, see these things here, these. 
We have to hit them, but it's very hard. Get out! Oh, he's got one. That's one down. That's one down already. Yeah, but he spanked you like twice. Yeah, but he's dead if we get we get the other one. So, you know. Oh, I forgot about freaking out as well. That is a thing. That one's definitely gone. Okay. Oh no. I'm probably going to completely freak out here. Swing! Don't just punch the air and freak her out. Swing! Alright, I'm going to take some medicine. Oh no, you did it! Yes! By pure chance, we just beat the first boss! <laughs> that was pretty easy. I, I remember that being so much harder. Ew, ew, ew. Stop it. Stop that. Stop that. Stop making those noises with your body. Creepy man. Everyone in this castle is rapey. In different ways. Well, that's him at the picture now. He, doesn't, he, he won't be actually dead though, he'll just be friendly. Because we actually hang out with him later on. As an optional thing, you can. I'm not sure I'd want to hang out with him really. I feel a bit sorry for him. It's okay, Huey. He can't come after us anymore. Good boy. That was pretty easy, right? Yeah. I didn't even use an item. Calm down, Hugh. It's over. <laughs> Next section, not gonna be so easy though. It's okay, Hugh. It's okay. I don't know why you thought he was dead. <laughs> yeah, it, he just got hurt a bit. I mean, that he, he looks fine. You know what I mean? He looked pretty good for someone who'd had a thing fall on them. He yeah. looks alright. He says sorry. The thing I never understood about this entire section, like I know he thought you were a doll, but why is he suddenly like, okay, I'm sorry? Is it just because you hurt him that bad? It's just like, okay. I guess. I I played too rough. I did bad. I go away now. Is that it? Is that literally it? <laughs> I guess so. Well. We had to just backtrack to the save point, but that is pretty much it for this section of the game, guys, and the first video. Sorry this took us a while, but I think it was- I think we did pretty good in the end, baby, right? Yeah. A few moments of frustration, but generally, not that bad. We have to get back through the room now, though, which is, uh, uh, I don't know, the technical term is bum, I think? <laughs> uh, but that's gonna be it. So, baby, would you mm -hmm. like to say some non things to the people watching while I, while I wrap up and get to the save point, please? I mean, come on. You're all pretty numb. The only pretty numb? Eh, you know what would make you even number? What? If you like this video. <gasps> oh my god. What would make you really numb? And if you want to see more videos and help us continue to bring you videos, you should consider looking at our Patreon and signing up. It's pretty numb. It's a link in the description. Yeah. You'll be able to vote on other playthroughs that we do. Pretty numb. That sounds very numb to me, actually. And there's a bunch of other rewards at a bunch of different other tiers, so you should go check that out. Yeah, it's pretty and numb. And we also stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash crinkshow. Big shout out again to Alice for being a super numbkin producer too. Thank you so much, Alice. And thank you to all of the other Patreons who helped make this possible as well. Yes. Anyway, next time it'll be chapter two, which is I am not complete. Which is probably the most fucked up of the chapters in my opinion, actually. I really don't know what a uterus is just like the pinnacle of what you need. I know it's not technically the uterus, but it is the uterus. Like, yeah, but it's just what's the borrow one. Don't you <laughs> anyway. It's really inconvenient that we're the people with, person with one, though. Um, one thing I will say before the way, before the next video, I will be doing a few optional stuff, gathering up some items while we haven't got a pursuer after us, and clearing out everything we missed, basically. And then we will continue on as we were before with the main story, with the, opening the door with the key that we just found in the church right now. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Watch all of our other videos. Every single one, please. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.